Hey everybody, I'm in The Witcher 3. Here I'm going to show you how to use Whirl. So Whirl is a special um, combat style that's unlocked with skill points and you need to invest a fair few before you can actually unlock it. So it's something that you're going to get later in the game, sort of, I don't know, level 30 or so, so maybe something like that, maybe level 20. Um, but I'll show you how it works. So Whirl looks like, whoops, hang on, let's get a sword. Whirl looks like this. So how am I doing that? I'm holding down the X button on the Xbox controller. Um, that's the left button on the, you know, the little four button light layout. I'm trying to think what that is on the PlayStation. Uh, might be square. Um, so that's the button that you need to, to press um, to do it. Uh, now, if it's not working for you, it's probably because you've invested some skill points into it, but then forgot to assign it on the right hand side. So let's have a little look at that and just show you what I mean. If I hit the menu button, go to character and then here it has to be on the right hand side so this is a very combat heavy skill build that I've done here I was just testing out some things I wanted to do a tutorial on well so it's a fast attack um, here you'll find it on the combat and you see we need to invest um, I think it's eight on this one and then I can't remember 20 or, or so and then here these will unlock and Whirl is there. So as soon as you chuck in one in the here, you can use Whirl, um, but you can see um, as you um, put more points into it, it gets better. So it says consumes 50% less stamina and adrenaline, adrenaline point gain plus 5%. So if I just prove that Whirl doesn't work when it's not on the right-hand side, whoops, hang on, sorry. Ah, let's just move to the right-hand side. If I hit A to remove it, so you can see it's now black on the left-hand side, come back out, hold down X, it does not work okay so we'll pop it back on um, the other thing you can do to boost or get boosts is chuck red mutagens next to your red abilities so you can see this is all combat crazy so I've got red 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 and each of these is given 40% attack power when I have three skill signs or skills assigned in this area here I'm getting plus 30 percent because I've got this one here this one increases adrenaline points increase both weapon damage and sign intensity so I thought that was quite good so the damage that this now generates is pretty phenomenal so let's go and have a little look we need to find something to attack now let's just chuck on Quinn now all my points are everywhere else so my signs are pretty pathetic in this particular build but I'm just looking for a do oh what we got over here Oh, you'll do. Oh, I'm white. Right, so that was a light attack. Let's put a whirl on him. Lethal. So I quickly built up um, adrenaline there. You can see on the bottom left. So as that was top, um, we were just starting to get some vicious damage and just absolutely destroyed him. Nice. Got a good drop there. Um, with this whirl command. And that's it. That's how you use whirl in The Witcher 3. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a little thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. Have a little look at the rest of my channel if you're interested in tutorials for The Witcher 3 because I do all sorts of tutorials and I've started adding more in 2022 because I've noticed more and more people are discovering the game even now, years after it was produced. Works beautifully still on the Xbox. I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X. You see it looks great. Um, there is a big update coming. I can't remember if it's later this year or I think it's later this year where they're going to revisit it and remaster it, I believe, uh, CD Projekt Red, which would be awesome. But until then, we could admire Geralt looking good. They did do a 4K version anyway. I'm playing at 1080p for um, YouTube just to keep the file sizes low. Um, but yeah, it, it does play beautifully on the Xbox Series X. Um, so if you like this, thumbs up, please. Comments are great, even if it's a thanks for that. That was useful. That helps other people know the video was great. Or if you've got a question about The Witcher 3, hit me up. I read all my comments. I'll reply and help you out with the tutorial if I'm not covering it already uh, or answer as best I can. Thanks so much for watching.